Welcome to a demonstration and getting started guide for Private Automation Hub in Ansible Tower. This will be presented by John Hardy, the Red Hat Product Manager for Automation Hub. Let's get started. Demonstration of how to use Galaxy MG, aka Automation Hub, with Ansible Tower. We're going to log in here as admin and my password. This is the Ansible Tower server. Now, the way that you connect a Automation Hub or Galaxy MG server to Ansible Tower is through credentials and organizations. I've got pre-created here a number of credentials. Let me just take you through the three that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using Ansible Galaxy. This credential is pointing directly to Ansible Galaxy. That's the Galaxy server URL. It doesn't require any authentication or API token. But when this credential is used, we're going to go over the internet to galaxy.ansible.com. The other two credentials I've got set up, one's published and one's Red Hat certified. For the Red Hat certified, we are going to be going to this server here, which is a privately installed Galaxy NG server, aka Automation Hub. And we're going to a URL that is rh-certified. It does require an API token for authentication. And then for the published one, which is our private collections, these are collections that I've curated myself for my enterprise. They're on the same server, but they're in a different URL called published. So, and again, requires an API token. So we've got these three credentials. How do I use these three credentials? I go to organizations and I select default. Uh, this is my default organization for my Ansible Tower server. I can click on this new setting called Galaxy Credentials. And when I select these credentials, they are attached in the order that they will be looked up at time of uh, project refresh, which I shall show you in a second. So example, if I select Ansible Galaxy and then Red Hat Certified, if Tower looks for a collection, it's going to look in Galaxy first, and if it doesn't find it there, then it will go to Red Hat Certified, which in this particular case would never work because all collections that are in Red Hat Certified can be found in Ansible Galaxy. The order that I actually want is I wish for my private collections to be searched first, then I wish for the Red Hat Certified and supported content to be searched second, and then lastly, if you really can't find the collection that you're after in my private repository or my Red Hat certified, I want you to go to Ansible Galaxy. So that's the order that they'll be processed. Click Save. Click Save again. And now the organization's been updated with the Galaxy credentials. To see this in action, we go to Projects. I've got a project here called ASC Production Demo. Now, how does this project pick up what collections are to be used? Well, that's quite easy. If you go to GitHub, you can see this production demo uh, repo in GitHub. And here's my sample playbooks that I play with. But I've got a folder in here called collections. And inside of the collections folder, there is a file which is requirements.yaml. You must conform to this naming standard. And inside of my requirements.yaml, you can see here a whole load of collections that I've been playing with. So I've got my collections defined here as Ansible Tower. I've got Cisco, Nexos. I've got AWX, AWX. Um, and then I've got some other ones. I've got 25.test collection and my first.test test collection. Interestingly, these two do not exist in Ansible Galaxy, nor do they exist in Red Hat Certified. So the only place these collections can be obtained is from a private Galaxy NG server that has been updated um, with those collections. So this requirements.yaml will be used at time of project refresh. If we go back to the project and answer tower. So when this project is refreshed, it's going to read in that requirements.yaml and start picking up those collections. So let's go and do that now. So ASC production demo, click a refresh on it. We're going to look at jobs. Look at it running. Here's the job here running now. And it's finished. So 
Six OK, one changed, nothing failed. Let's go and have a look at this. I'll resize this so you can see it better. And if we look through this carefully, we can see exactly what's going on. So let's start with the first one. So it's processing Ansible.tower as a collection. It tells me that it's not available in the private repository, but it was available in the Red Hat certified. Then it moves on to do the Cisco. AWX is an interesting one. So it looks in the published. It looks in the Red Hat certified. Still can't find it there but then it does go and find it at galaxy.ansible.com. And then looking at, say, one of the private collections that I've published, so the johnny5iq.test underscore collection, it's looking at that. It goes straight to the published URL on my private Galaxy NG server and obtains it straight away from there. So you can see how the credentials are being tested in order as what I connected them to the organization as. And then it goes on and processes the rest of the collections, downloads them, installs them on the tower server. So that's how you pull collections in uh, for, for a project at the time of refresh. Now this project is fully updated with all the collections that's required by definition of the requirements YAML, any playbook that runs will be able to use those collections now. That concludes the demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on Ansible and Automation Hub, please visit ansible.com.